Salutations and good vibrations, family. Welcome to another session with Pharaoh J. Tassetti. Today, we will discuss my three methods of control of a country if you are trying to take over that country because you are afraid of the people. In my many years of living and understanding how people are managed and manipulated, in my point of view, there were only three strategies used to control the masses. So if I had a country and I wanted to control the people in my country because I was afraid of them, these are the three strategies I would use to control the people in my country. The first being the food. From the food you eat derives your addictions, your medical concerns, and your eating habits, which takes out a third of the people. So this is why I am very conscious of what I eat and what I put in my body, and also what I drink. A lot of the food we eat had a lot of chemicals that your body can't use. A lot of medicines are used on your body, which create other side effects. And a lot of what we do, we return to the system as a product. There are foundations in our country that are pillars of the industry. And the medical industry and the food industry are two of the largest. One feeds the other. The food we eat tend to not keep us healthy if we don't eat healthy and be selective of what we put in our mouth. And it in turns will return us back to the medical field in which they will pump us with more medicines, antibiotics, and other methods of trying to get us healthy. As you go throughout your life, you start to understand that this becomes an endless cycle. You get sick, they try to make you healthy. You get sick, they try to make you healthy. Much of what we're eating comes down to the packaging they put it in. A lot of the times we look at the food we're eating, it looks nothing like the picture on the box. This is all fabricated. This is a created and doctored photo to entice you, to have you understand and want that sensation and pleasure of eating that item. Once you take that item out of the box or any of these products that they have in these colorful packaging, many of the times it's not as the photo. Also, many of us walk around with a physique that is not to our liking. And a lot of the problem comes down to our midsection, which is the torso of the body. And over time, the body cannot process the chemicals we are putting inside our bodies because of what we eat. Many times you need to cleanse your body to get rid of the toxins that you eat that the body cannot use. Over time, your body will store that and store that until you have a gut the size of a baby, especially for men. And over time, you need to release that. You need to get rid of those toxins out of your body. It's not because you need to do sit-ups. It's because your body cannot process what you're eating. It's your diet. Some of the best ways to cleanse your body, and what I do is I eat a lot of leafy green vegetables. I eat a lot of fruit and I eat a lot of natural food. I don't eat a lot of processed food and I pretty much stay away from ground beef and bologna and salami. So at this point, you're controlling one third of the people with the food you're putting into your industry if you wanted to control the people in your country. Okay, the number two method I would use if I was afraid of the people in my country and I wanted to control the masses would be to control their minds. Now there's many methods that people have been using to control the minds of their people. And a lot of it had to do with the media. The media is probably the number one action that countries use to control the people. Now there's other scientific methods and frequencies and other methods of controlling the mind or something similar to the Rockefeller experiment which is when they changed the frequencies from 432 hertz to 440 hertz to suggest subliminal messages, Rockefeller experiment. Or I would use the technique called MKUltra 
that was done on some Canadians by the American government back in the 80s, which has been extensively documented and everybody already know about. But this is a method I would use on my people also if I wanted to control my country. The MK Ultra technique was basically anything to try to manipulate the mind, such as drugs, LSD, hypnotism. You had torture, not only sexual and verbal torture, but you also had physical torture. Now remember, this is only speculative on the history and information we have on what countries do to control the people. Another method of mind control or controlling your mind is going through frequencies. Frequencies can impose blocks, which will keep you in certain realms. Most people will begin to hypnotize consciously or subconsciously, depending on the frequency. And those in a different frequency wouldn't be getting hypnotized at all. You will be getting programmed by digital images or sounds. But keep in mind, technology nowadays can hypnotize you while you are awake. Dealing with the mind, we must not forget religion and occultism. When dealing with the mind, there's many ways now they can attempt to program us or hypnotize us by our telephones or television signals. And right now they're talking about 5G. So that's a more powerful matrix with virtual reality and AI, meaning artificial intelligence. For those of you who are constantly doing certain things, you need to question yourself. Why do you keep doing those things? Is it an implanted thought or an implanted process in your mind? Or is it something you just want to do? Now, when it's something you can't control, that's when it's a very dire, dire moment for you to question that action. So now that we completed two methods of controlling the people in the country I would have, we now have two thirds of our population under control. To refresh, the first method is through the food. Now we have just finished speaking of controlling your mind. Now we're to the third method I would use if I had a country to control the people would be to take away your freedom. This would be my third and final step in controlling the people in a country that I would have. And taking away your freedom would be systematically done so that generations over time would not be completely aware of the previous freedoms that other generations had. This method will be the third and final method I would use into controlling the people I would have in a country I would have. And taking away your freedoms will be not only the freedoms you have legally on the books, but will be also through the technology and the food. You would not have the freedom to grow your own food. You would not have the opportunity of initiating information to learn for yourself. It will be all through state-run institutions, state-run industries, state-run media. And I would ensure that all the media outlets run by the state and government agencies will never tell the truth. And for those who would do further research on understanding these methods of controlling people, if you had a country, when dealing with the food they eat and the industries behind the food, the mind control, whether dealing with the Rockefeller experiments or the MK Ultra method. And finally, taking away your freedoms that you previously had for privacy and securement and protecting yourself. These are methods I would fictitiously use to control a people when I am a government and I am afraid of my people. And to add a fourth bonus, I would add two parties that stem from the same original party with the same ideals of suppressing the people and make sure we do not have a third party. This way, we stay on extreme ends and not have a party in the middle because I know 
not everyone is conservative and not everyone is liberal. So the majority of the people would vote the middle party. We can't have that. Well, I thank you for listening for our fictitious strategies we would use to suppress and oppress the people we would have if we were afraid of our own citizens. I am you and you are me. We are the roots of the tree. I seek righteousness, I see righteousness, and I be righteousness. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to the Tasseti Kingdom. And we're glad you're here. We have many playlists and music to listen to, to learn, inspire, and open your consciousness to what's going on in the world. You are in a place where we're consciously trying to think before we act or react. Because we know that majority of our problems are created by us. But when dealing with society, we need to move deliberately and not move in a sporadic manner. We understand that many of us are programmed from past times through systems and processes and patterns that has been giving down to us that we continue to process not knowing that it is detrimental to our future. We must learn to fight those inhibitions that society tends to put on us to make us fight each other and we should start loving each other and working together for a better future. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and please share this information with at least five people you know so we can grow the Tassetti Kingdom. Love, peace, and power. Pharaoh J. Tassetti.